hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to talk about the uh, best plate design in tecla tets and this is the model that i'm going to use so uh, we have a steel uh, building and uh, i'm going to design the uh, uh, fixed best plate here Okay, so uh, before we start, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. And if you like this video, please put the thumb up as well. Okay, uh, I already run the structural analysis of this model. And uh, before we start the best plate design, we need to uh, check the structural member uh, first. So this is the steel design of the uh, main frame. And we can check the second uh, the re, uh, beam as well. And next, we can check the reaction load. So uh, for this uh, structure, I only apply the dead load and the light load. So I'm going to use this uh, load combination and apply. I need to show the standard graphics here and uh, I will design this uh, best column and next one will be this one so uh, for this column I will enact the uh, bending moment uh, for the minor axis and the shear uh following the minor axis as well and uh, you can check uh, which uh, direction is the uh, major or the minor axis so uh next we can go to tecla tests and uh, i will create a new uh, document and we can search uh, best plate and we can see it here or you can go to a uh, column and column best uh, plate design and calculate okay so we have uh, this window and first we need to go to geometry and you can assign the uh, section but uh, you can check that uh, we have only the uh, US steel section here and if you want to change the data uh, list you need to uh, go to design option and change the uh, steel section here so you, we have uh, uh, many uh, database here and for this project i only use the japan uh, section so okay and we go to geometry again and you can go to section you can see that uh, now we uh, we get the japanese steel uh, section here and for the uh, member here you can see that uh, this is the section and uh, i will select uh, this one and next you can uh, click on the side base plate so that the program will uh, sizing the base plate here as you can see here but uh, we need to adjust it uh, anyway so we can see it here so for the length i will change it to um 500 and this one will be 320 so we have this and remember remember that the moment apply on the major axis and the thickness here we change to 20 millimeter and we keep this uh, like that and change this to six and this one a uh, six and i will change the foundation detail here and okay 
next we can import the design force so we can check the design force in e tab here so we have uh, the actual uh, force and the bending moment and the uh, shear uh, force here so and uh, you can check the information here the positive value is for uh, compression for the actual force and the uh, negative value is for tension okay now we can change the material and uh, you can uh, match the best plate material with the steel uh, member and uh, the steel member here I use the SS 400 so we can change it like this and I will keep uh, this value for the anchor ball and this one as well but I need to change this to 25 and keep other value the same here okay and next we adjust the ball location so uh, we change this to uh, 19 and we change this so I will keep this value and we change this one to 150 and change this to 400 and uh, you can check in the uh, type of the anchor ball as well but uh, I, will use, I will use this one now uh, we can check the design option again and we can check the uh, load uh, combination uh, method and this is the uh, design code and uh, everything else I will keep it like this and okay so we can check the result here we can see that uh, the base plate here uh, fell so we can change the uh, thickness of the base plate here let's say uh, 26 okay so now we uh, pass the design so uh, this is the uh, base plate design for uh, this column now we can click uh, finish and we can see the uh, uh, report here now uh, for the next one I will use this document again but uh, you can save it uh, if you want to and uh, this time we will change the moment apply here to a uh, minor axis and I will change this to uh, 320 and this is uh, 500 and ok and uh, I need to change the design force here so we can check uh, this column so we have uh, uh, this uh, three value and okay I will keep everything else the same but uh, we need to change the bowl location I will add this to four and uh, we can change the spacing here and uh, okay so uh, we need to change a little bit more but uh, uh, for the design force I want to show you this one we can change the shear type uh, uh, sorry the shear transfer type here if you want the ball to uh, transfer the shear you can click on here and the design calculation here uh, will change we have the shear breakout resistance but uh, I will keep it the same so we choose the friction but uh, I will change 
the bowl location here so um i think we need to change the size of the base plate first and we can change this one and for the uh, wheel strength we can add the thickness of the wheel here and uh, now we got the the result so we can finish and we can see the uh, report here so uh we can do the design of the best plate in the Tekla text uh, like this but uh, remember that the program has the limitations so you have to uh, check or you have to know uh, some point that the program cannot do so this is it uh, you can do the uh, best plate design quickly in Tekla text and uh, you can take the result like uh, I do but if you have more load combination you can use the envelope uh, uh, combination uh, and take the value and input in the Tekla text okay so how you guys enjoy this and I see you guys in the next video